it's Ocean and welcome to the last and final episode for season one of Love Sick. Yes, this is the final episode and we will be having a season two. I just really need a break from this hardcore storytelling and from this dramatic life of Lizbeth and Alden Proctor. I'm going to jump right in and save all of my like feelings and mushy thoughts and thank yous for the very end of this episode. Lizbeth is clearly sleeping alone in a bed by herself in probably one of the emptiest rooms she's ever been in since she moved in with Alden in the first home that they owned. We are actually in San Maishuno in the Spice District and we are here because we decided or Lizbeth decided to move out alone. This may catch some of you off guard. This may make you feel so angry with her and like, what is she doing? Like, she has no right (laughs) to move out with her girls on her own. She's married, all of the above. But truthfully, and matter of fact, she actually, she should probably get up soon. She's hungry and I should probably... Let me just have her grab something to eat here. We don't have the best apartment and I will get into that. What will the girls like? Probably make some. We do have some fruit and yogurt. We could probably make some parfaits and oh no, she has a gig that we actually have to quit. Um, This is actually part of Elizabeth's growth right now or shall I say, she has to call in and say that she's not going to. I know the clients are sad, but... Lisbeth just can't right now. Therapy has been groundbreaking for Lisbeth. It really has. It's helped her discover certain things that she may have not opened up and kind of like came to terms with if she never went to therapy. I will get more into that later if I can, but I just want to gently touch on those topics because I don't want to dive too deep into her trauma because that could be even more traumatizing for any of you that have um, experienced the same or whatever the case may be. Lisbeth chose to move out and become independent because she really wants to know what it's like to survive on her own. She has always been taken care of. It has never been a question of how am I going to have money for school? How am I going to get this and that? Her mom married someone that was pretty wealthy and had a good amount of money. Not like she lived in the richest or biggest house, but for what it was, um, she had a really, really, really good life as far as financials are concerned. Is that even a word? You know what? She has a few moments alone. She should probably use this time to go and take herself a shower, right? Don't you, don't you agree? Don't you agree? She'll probably take a thoughtful one. Alden has always taken care of her, you know, even when they first met, he's always taken care of her and she really needed this for herself. She needed to learn what it's like to be an adult, take care of your own and deal with your own things and get away from all of the influences. And a lot of you have mentioned this before that Liz has never been someone that's made her own decision she always kind of just tries to people please and make other people happy and just goes with the flow of everything but she's not someone that's very firm in her own decisions and very like self-assured she's not like that at all as confident as she can be hooking up with naval on the side she is actually not a very confident person at all so that is the lovely twist about lizbeth and i know it feels like lizbeth became main character energy super hard in this let's play and it's because i kind of attached to her story and her character but we will be seeing out in his point of view and how he feels um on friday actually tomorrow so this is just me kind of like explaining like i do want to provide closure for you all and speaking of alden he actually helped um Speaking of Alden, he actually asked her if she needed help to furnish this place because, I mean, look at it. It's pretty empty. This original shell of this apartment was created by Sim Lissy on the gallery. And I just kind of, it's called like my first apartment or our first apartment. And I just kind of switched it up as far as the colors are concerned and everything. But I love the layout. And oh, we have some neighbors. As you can see, we just moved in not too long ago. I'm actually going to invite the neighbors in and just say hi. And oh, look who stopped by. We have. Delaney who just came by to make sure that everything was straight with us um she was a fundamental part in us even moving hey you guys can come on and thank you so much for helping me move this stuff up the stairs I didn't think it was going to be this hard um these um people here actually helped us kind of move in and everything Abigail is officially awake I did age Abigail up the girls are close in age um even though Madison was a toddler when Abigail was born the same way that Lisbeth is kind of slightly older than I guess Eliana is the same way that uh, they're kind of close in age, which is so crazy because her mom had two girls and Lizbeth had two girls, which is so crazy because I did not cheat that. She genuinely had two girls. And just like her mom's situation, they didn't come from the same father. 
I did not intentionally mean to do that. That was never part of the plan, but it really worked out. It's like Lizbeth did the storytelling for us in that case. Can she wake her sister up and be annoying? Like, wake up, wake up. I hear people are here right now. And she really wants to watch Lizbeth. She always wants to watch Lizbeth. Um, I actually gave her the angelic trait because Madison's pretty fussy and it's like they're complete opposites. <laughs> and I love that. So I'm going to have her watch... Um, them right here let's have her watch her mama and say hmm, who are all these people and then like grab some food and everything at the start of the lp i mentioned lizbeth loves the city the city is like where she <laughs> i mean she just she loves it here this is where she met imani asher this is where she met elisa so this is literally just her vibe and she could not be herself to move back to a eco or evergreen harbor apartment Nah, she's trying to get away from all of all of that. Although Alden could not furnish this place because Liz refused, she was like, no, I want you to keep the furniture we have and just, I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't, you know, she actually found these beds from a little baby consignment shop and she just didn't want to put that on him. She feels and still feels very guilty about what happened and they have an understanding on why she felt like she needed space. And I'll tell you how Alden feels about it in a few, but it wasn't easy to get to this point but it's understood now that this is best for them and if they want to stay together how they can grow from it the nice thing is that Alden actually direct deposited like he would not take no for an answer gave her 5,000 simoleons in hopes that she'll use it for rent this place is 500 simoleons a week so Elizabeth needs to find something fast because this is not going to last but she couldn't refuse she was like well he already sent the money <laughs> so as opposed to like trying to furnish this place up and get it nice looking because she she loves her interior design she knows that it's very important for her to be able to afford this place in the lights like you know him and liz still talk daily here and there it's just an adjustment and he is still very focused on getting her back he also agrees after you know sitting in with some of the sessions with delaney as well that you know they do need time so when we go see him tomorrow and i'm going to tell you why we're seeing him tomorrow you will see that yeah we are still fully married alden is going to stand by that his mom is livid <laughs> and doesn't understand it but it's very hard like you all said like Alden is very pressed about that image he's a humble humbly he's a humble snob I'd say though the proctors having a divorce in their family his parents have been together for years you know it's just not it's just not normal for him to automatically say we have to get a divorce and even after the therapy sessions you know Alden is also aware of um, somewhat aware not fully I won't say fully aware of certain things that Liz probably needed that he wasn't able to give and does not know about the trauma of her childhood and what she went through she still didn't feel comfortable expressing that to Alden for some reason and her therapist can't pressure her to do so it is definitely a very private one-on-one -on -one conversation when that was revealed and that is what's boosting all of this change I mean real real breakthrough and listen I know that we have <laughs> these like guys here in our house but like I love it for Liz because Liz is not like thinking about getting with them or oh he's cute he's this he's that it's such a different energy it's very light it's like wow he's a family man <laughs> he's living with his mom like it feels like family and I feel like in city living I feel like our neighbors are gonna feel like family to us you know and it's gonna feel so good thank you guys so much for coming my girls are having a meltdown so <laughs> What we need to do is just take them to the park probably and just let them have a field day. And here we are at the Splash Park of San Mashuno. I love this because the girls can just get their energy out. Mm, Liz is a little tired, so I'm going to give her a little bit of juice. Okay, I don't use real like mods mods on this Let's Play, but I do kind of cheat up the needs a little bit if I need to. And I want them to have fun. Come on, girls, get over here. It's splashing. <laughs> Abigail looks just like Alden and I love that we have these two brunette babies and mom just has this dark black you know just luscious hair and they have, they're just like two brunettes they literally look alike um and obviously because they're sisters but I just love the way that the jeans played out with them and I can't wait to see how they'll look when they're kids it'll be so precious poor Abigail's still learning how to get her groove on with this walk so she's taking a little longer <laughs> Look at them, they're just having so much fun here, splashing. Liz is being a big kid right now. I can honestly say that having children was probably one of the best things that's ever happened to her. And sure, that sounds pretty cheesy when you say it. It, it totally does, like it totally does. 
I know that sounds really, really cheesy when you say it. Let's craft some ice cream while we're here and give the girls some ice cream. How about we do some? Mm, this looks so good. I, I never use this, but I'm using this right now. I feel like there's two ways things can happen in your life. You go through something and you make sure there's a different outcome or you go through something and sometimes history repeats itself and I really feel like she wants a different outcome and poor Madison just used her diaper and she is not happy about it Miss Ma'am <laughs> she's like oh she's tired too perfect you're tired this is just so good isn't this just good let's set the toppings we'll have sprinkles with uh what else sprinkles bananas that kind of sounds good that kind of sounds good. Strawberries. Nope, strawberries. Yummy. <laughs> okay, let's grab a bowl together and let's just eat it. I know the girls are feeling a little bit tired, which is good. And they both need baths. Look, I love how Abigail is just perfectly fine. And Madison is like, I am tired. I feel stinky. I feel gross, mom. Let's get out. <laughs> so what's? Oh, she got brain freeze. Sorry, Liz. I'm sorry, honey bun. So something that I've never gotten before, I forgot that Lisbeth has the maker trait. She did not bring her candle station with her because she simply doesn't have the space. And it says, idle hands, the existential sadness of not making something has crept in. She actually misses candle making. And I don't even know if it's her anymore. Like she had the, you know, lit by Liz, the candles and stuff. She has a couple that she has in her inventory. And I just, I don't know if that's what she's supposed to do. Maybe we can find a place to put the candle maker, possibly remove the washer and dryer maybe, because I don't even feel like playing with that gameplay feature, like laundry. Who has time for that? I'm going to go ahead and head out. Looks like the girls are totally beat. And tomorrow I'm going to actually mark this on my calendar. This is going to be the the interesting part something that i know you all were wondering and that is how are we going to co-parent when is alden gonna see his baby how is he cool with this because you know alden is family oriented no this is just not going to fly what about naval now that he's in the picture alden can basically take abigail whenever he wants <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to mark this because I use the calendar system as my personal planner, as you all know. So Alden is actually going to be seeing Abigail this Friday, which is tomorrow. And he can honestly see her whenever he wants. Um, just she, He just has to let Elizabeth know in advance. But basically, he's going to have her throughout the whole weekend. So I should probably say Alden's weekend as opposed to day. Alden does work through the week. He has a very busy schedule. So if he wants to see Abigail when he gets off work, that's perfectly fine too. And on Saturday tomorrow, and just this Saturday, because we are still playing it by ear, and I know that Naval may not be happy about that. All right, so we have Saturday, Naval sees Maddie, which again, this is completely up in the air. Um, we are going slow because with Naval, it's hard for Liz. I know you guys are going to hate me, but she doesn't trust him with <laughs> with their daughter. In the sense where like being that he wasn't there when she was a baby, it's like her mom instincts are kicking in and she's like, Naval, like, you don't even know how to take care of a baby. I have to see how you are with her because yeah, she can walk. She can somewhat talk, but she's still very little. And it's not that she thinks like he would do anything crazy, like leave her in a grocery store. It's just like, you know, just kind of getting used to her and what she needs. So she did say, hey, you can come to this city and I'll let you spend the day with her and so he's like all right you know I guess I'll take that so hopefully that goes as planned and that does it doesn't cause anything I don't know if I know that Evergreen Harbor and Sam I know is a pretty like pretty long ways away the way I see it is that Algin is actually closer to us than of all because Newcrest is basically like Willow Creek right and it's very close but Newcrest, there's a certain section of Newcrest where you can kind of see the city. So he just kind of has to drive through Newcrest to get to us. Whereas Naval <laughs> lives completely, probably like two hours away of that. I don't even know, an hour away or something. Like, I don't know. You guys drop down in the comments how you view the world maps. I kind of want to bring that realism here too. So I don't know. If he really wants to see his daughter, he'll drive out here because we're not going back to Evergreen Harbor right now. I want to uh, bring your attention to this cute little... Um, a thing that me and the girls made, <laughs> me being Lizbeth, I don't know why I'm speaking in the first person. I'm getting way too invested. But so the girls don't have a dollhouse. And so with like some leftover, you know, like cardboard that we had from packing and with some of like 
like the sheets that Lizbeth wanted to use for the beds and stuff and books. We ended up making our own little dollhouse. So isn't that kind of cool? That's super cool, right? Abigail loves dolls with her mommy. And so they're just playing right now. It's almost time for bedtime, Abby. So come on, we can play a little bit. <laughs> Sissy's already in bed. So let's go ahead and go to bed. Also, let me tell you for Friday, tomorrow on Outings Weekend, Abigail is going for the whole weekend, but Madison will be attending or will be going with her on Friday. Yes, Alden is a good man. He is still very much involved in Madison's life. He can't write her off as his daughter, nonetheless, just because they don't, they aren't biologically related. He basically raised her from a baby. And that is very hard to crush a relationship like that. And so Delaney kind of is helping navigate that for them right now, I guess you could say. Which we kind of saw a glimpse of that in the last episode. So we are here at the old Proctor residence and it feels so bittersweet because hello, like we didn't really get to spend a lot of time here, but a lot has changed. So even though their parents couldn't get it together, Gus has a new boo and that is Skipper. Skipper is our new Corgi. Alden got lonely. Okay. And so he had... He had to. He had. He he could. He couldn't turn it down. Skipper was actually in need of adoption, and obviously Alden was there to, to rescue. So we have Skipper. Skipper is absolutely precious, and I love them. It says that he is late for work, but I actually had him call out, and they even said, "Oh, hope you feel better." He actually called in sick because he didn't use his vacation days, which was kind of weird for him because <laughs> he has like ten of them, but that was the only option. In order for Alden to keep his sanity throughout all of this, he actually did put a lot more effort and time into his surroundings than worrying about Liz being away, which is why the house looks different. He was able to paint the walls blue, which you all know he loves the color blue. It's his favorite. He even had some tile in here, added a little blue rug. He loves blue. He even made Liz's office more like a kid's playroom slash whatever it's gonna be. He found this little like theater uh, play area. Someone had it on the side of the road here and he was like, yo, like I had to take that home the girls would love this and they could put on plays and shows so when they get older they're gonna have a blast here because they can't use this right now as toddlers and um he still hasn't taken their pictures down even in the bedroom the wedding pictures he still hasn't taken those down yet he's definitely not ready to do that uh, but he's just made some changes and she didn't care if he did because <laughs> You guys know, Lizbeth never even, this was just never her dream. You know, this was never her house. And, Liz, and you know, Alden was just more invested as far as the house was concerned and stuff. Lizbeth was just along for the ride. And here we have a blue kitchen. I've never had a blue kitchen, but I love seeing Alden's taste in things. It is awesome to see him actually just be able to put his style and, and everything in this place. Because in the earlier, earlier parts of the season, we have seen just Lizbeth's very minimal cold and dry furnishings and Alden's house is a little warmer and it's it's very fitting. So the girls room, he actually got some help from his mom. Uh, we painted it a nice little teal. He didn't want to go like pink and purple. He wanted it to look kind of like even flow with the house. He really, really liked the way that this looked as far as the color, something bright. He bought them a science table. He is a doctor. So he's just excited for when they grow up to where he can actually like you know do these things with them and they can play with these things like the puppet station and the the science table and their beds are just really cute similar to the one that madison already have it just in a different color we have some doctor veterinarian stuff they love he loves animals he loves dogs he loves the medical field so this was just very fitting to kind of furnish it this way and there are these horrible drapes that Lizbeth literally um cringes when she looks at them and knows that her daughters are like sleeping in here but she's like oh yeah it looks great she wouldn't choose them but uh daniela did and they're um yeah they're just a very interesting choice of curtains here so mom and dad are here which is really cool they're actually in town they aren't staying here um they did want to kind of explore and get away so they're at a hotel living their best life you know they just they're just here um i'm going to actually have madison ask if one of them can put her in the pool she's been out here waiting to go in the pool <laughs> the whole time so she's gonna ask Daniela. honestly we're just gonna have some good old hamburgers okay it's just some good old-fashioned hamburgers nice little cookout vibe going on here as heartfelt as this is it is kind of unfortunate because you know this isn't madison's 
grandparent anymore. In The Sims 4, neither of the girls were even listed as the granddaughter of Daniela and Gino. So I left Madison's as it was because technically, biologically, this isn't her grandmother, which is really, really sad. But Daniela still views her as, you know, her granddaughter. Imagine how sticky of a situation they're in because, you know, they've given her all this love and they can't take it back. And with Abigail, she is listed as Abigail's biological grandmother. So this just really, really sucks and hurts because adding that that difference there and just like half sister, half half grandmother, whatever the case, just having like a half sister and all that. This is just really tough. I'm actually going to have Alden come over here and take a picture after he's done grilling these burgers. He is up here, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And Sim Day, which is equivalent to like, you know, what Independence Day or whatever the case may be. Um, it's Will Wright Day. That's what I like to call it is Monday. So it's perfect to just grill out on today considering that we're late for work and um, we may miss it. <laughs> Let's just take a picture because this is just absolutely precious. Just mom and the girls here. And of course, we'll send Lizbeth off a copy as well, just so she can see, you know, what the girls are up to. But I think what I'm going to have Alden do is actually just uh, send a text to Lizbeth or actually call her, you know, he can, he can call her. He can just say, Hey, you know, this is what we're doing because like I said, they do talk almost daily, not too, too much and not for too long either. But again, you know, they are still married. Like they do love each other, I think. Um, but this is just how it is right now. But the hamburgers are done, so we should probably come over here. He's actually texting on his phone. He just got off the phone with Lizbeth, so let's call everyone to the meal. Sometimes this table acts really wonky, so I may just bring it, bring the food over here, and then just call everyone to the mill. Look at Skipper. Skipper is full of energy. Like Gus is all chill, and Skipper is just running around everywhere. Like, do you see her? Skipper is gone. She is so cute. The girls love the new dog. Um, and that's why they're so excited to be here today. And it's so nice that Madison was just able to come here and be with her sister. The one thing that they both agreed on was that, no, we're not going to separate our girls. We can't do that. We do know that naturally there will be some separation here, but we can't do that. We're going to have Alden talk. Um, he's going to actually give his parents the residence keys so they can come by whenever. Lizbeth isn't here right now, and he wants to feel supported. So he's going to say, here, Dad, you know, I've, I made you guys keys so you guys can, you know, come over here. and." what happened here oh my goodness they're glitching as long as she gets the key i'm okay did she get it let's go ahead and have her get the key hey mom she's like oh you made the keys thank you i'll take that <laughs> oh abigail hi skipper 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 she can't really talk yet <laughs> she's so cute <laughs> that is the cutest i i love toddlers in the sims 4 i just love knowing that this is going to be complicated and they're going to have to be transferred in the households every weekend like this is just it feels real like i really feel like i'm living in a co-parenting situation and i'm just like wow but let's go ahead and put away these leftover burgers they were delicious make some coffee because we need some fuel you know alden loves his coffee and it says he wants to get another uh, get a promotion i do want to let you guys know that alden actually did get a promotion he is now a medical specialist so he's level eight in the doctor career the next promotion is a surgeon and that is going to be big through this moment instead of sulking and being sad and going crazy he kept himself busy renovated the house to make it comfortable for him got another dog because he was just even more lonely and even got a promotion and makes more money so things are essentially going good and it helps it's helping the situation him staying so busy and just knowing that he can get abigail whenever and yeah as hard as it this is it's just it helps to be busy and stay busy in the situation it's literally like seven at night and it looks like alden's friends lyle and marie want to go ahead and come over they just want to come over and hang out and chill they know he has the girls this weekend so he let them you know have fun with his parents and they're like hey like let's go ahead and grill out again we have some more stuff let's grill out you know put a steak or something up there and have some drinks look loud grabbed a cup of coffee having good friends really helps and these are his doctor friends well
well lyle's a doctor and marie's the receptionist there so it's just really cool so they've been coming over and keeping him company as well it just it hasn't just been him keeping himself busy so he does have that support he's like i'll be right out guys i'm just washing skipper i love 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 how lyle is just sipping on this coffee right now it's just it's too good <laughs> um but we are going to can we just like talk about work yes let's do this oh she's outdoorsy maria's outdoorsy i didn't know that so is alton wow she's like yeah i was just thinking now that it's summer you guys we should take a camping trip camping trip what do you guys think about that look at how they're all sitting at the table i love it I love that. He definitely does need to um to get to know his friends a little bit better. She likes the violin. What else does she like? Oh, why are they going out here? Why are y'all going out there together? I didn't tell him to do this. You all saw, you all saw this with your own eyes. I had them talking and chatting about their interests, hobbies, and skills, and they literally came out here to stargaze. Oh, I put sharing astronomy knowledge. Okay, I did not know that meant that they would start stargazing. So I guess that interaction does have them stargaze, but I didn't actually choose stargaze. We can get up now. I just wanted to show you, you know, I, well, you know what? It makes sense because Alden literally just got a telescope. I didn't even show you all. He got a telescope and he had literally has logic level 10, but the man was like, you know what? I think I want a telescope just for fun, just for kicks and giggles. I am going to adopt Madison as a care dependent just so that I can also parent her. So even though biologically she is not our child um, or Alden's child, he can parent her and instill good things in her. And, and that's what I love about that. So we are going to still do that and and go along with that so that's good because i mean literally he he is her dad he's a father figure to her we can't ignore that right and so i'm gonna actually have alden come and get a we are going to ooh, princess plum bob's castle we're gonna read to the girls this is literally incredibly wholesome and just so alden of him <laughs> to read his girls books um, you know, just right there on the front porch like this before bedtime. It's literally like way past their bedtime and he's just reading to them. That is so cute. I love this. Just imagine you're just walking in the neighborhood and you see this dad just reading to these two adorable girls right here. Like, look, she had to stop and just say, oh, I bet she did. This was just so cute. So, so Lizbeth is up and at it. And today is Saturday. You know, Naval is supposed to see Maddie. He said he'd be by um, soon. He just doesn't know when. And that was about an hour ago. So we don't really know what's going on. And poor Madison is just here. She was sad, even though it's because she's scared of thunderstorms. I do think she does feel a little bit incomplete without her sister here. So I do feel like she's having a little bit of a rough day. But now she's okay because she's playing with her. Her little like toy or whatever she has here but i'm gonna have her get some of her whims out of the way hug and talk and speaking of whims with the new high school years pack you guys we're gonna be getting wants and fears i wonder how that's gonna change this let's play and future ones and just gameplay in general now like that's just gonna be crazy right and why does the thunder sound so loud so elizabeth was able to um you know bring her laptop out finally she had it stuffed in the boxes per usual she really needs to figure out like what she's going to do right now i'm actually gonna have her quit her job and just say hey um i don't want to interior design for the company anymore i just don't have the time right now to do so so you know she really needs something that can just at least have her home most of the time until she gets like childcare and everything situated and honestly not to be funny liz actually doesn't really like working i don't think she doesn't really like going out doing the grind nine to five or you know just being out long hours as far as that's concerned and she was really passionate about interior your design but i don't know she just it's it's also just not her and sometimes you just have to come to terms with that so i think right now she's gonna find some odd jobs in fact right now to get some extra money she put all of the extra candles she had from the old house and just put them on plopsy one of them is actually ready to be sold to king roland apparently so we're gonna put that on plopsy this one's pretty easy someone just needs help um box packing maybe it's like one of the neighbors on like the second floor or something fatima she needs 
Fatima, she needs help, you know, packing some boxes. She just got her nails done. So totally can understand that. And hey, we might make a new friend. So we'll just go for that. That's at 12. But I know Maddie probably will quote unquote go to daycare, but I just feel like she would take her with her. So if, if that could happen, that would be like a really cool like way to play. Naval hasn't called yet. So I'm just like waiting. Like I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to force him to come over on time. If he happens to <laughs> reach out when I'm out, then that's just on him. But we're just waiting around. Um, but we're going to go ahead and ship this on Plopsy. Wow, for only 84 simoleons, that totally wasn't worth it for some quick cash. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. She missed Naval's call, so she has to call him back. She's like, hey, sorry, I missed your call. And he's like, yeah, sorry, the weather is terrible, but I'm on my way right now. And she's like, okay, cool, you know, it's fine. Maddie's here, we're gonna be in for the rest of the night, so... Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Just get here safe. I know the weather's terrible. All right, thanks, Nev. All right, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Come here. Let's help her with her needs. Let's give a satisfying chat. I have Liz giving her a satisfying chat because I feel like, you know, maybe she's going to say, you know, your daddy's coming to see you. Do you remember daddy? You know, I'm going to show her picture and everything. And all oh, the rain kind of calmed down a little bit, which is good. Nice. And we're like, oh, should we like cook something? Like maybe we should make something. Italian meatballs comes on her mind and makes her think of Alden a little bit. But we're not going to do that, huh? Are we? No. Maybe some pasta primavera. That kind of sounds kind of good. Madison can come here and sit and play on her tablet. This tablet has been saving Liz forever. I don't care how much screen time. Just give mommy a couple of seconds. She's a great mom. I'm not judging her, but she's just, you know, sometimes it comes in handy for her. Wow, we have gourmet cooking level two. Now we can prepare butternut gnocchi and chicken saltimbocca. I know I probably butchered that pronunciation. Dinner is ready and he just came by here. That is like perfect timing right now. She's like, come in. Hey, hi. Oh, is he going straight to her? Oh, he's like, wow, nice place. Oh, that's so cute. He just came right to her. Oh my goodness. Maddie, put your tablet away. Put your tablet away, Maddie. Come on, your dad's here. <laughs> your dad's here. He's like, nah, it's okay, she can play. She's like, I'm drawing princesses. She loves Draw with Llama. That is one thing that she does on this app, Um, just draw. Okay, I'll put my tablet down just for you, dad. <laughs> oh, she's like, can we go up again? Oh, you just want me to throw you in the air, huh? Don't you, kiddo? Are you going to be an astronaut? Just promise me you'll be an astronaut. <laughs> He's just so cute. Oh my goodness. She's going to say play. Who's calling? I heard you were... So you guys know how E was like our best friend. And this is her, her girlfriend. Her girlfriend calls and goes, Hey, I heard you were kind of down lately. Throwing some huddles at the romance festival might be just to pick up you need. How about it? It's crazy that like our used to be best friend's girlfriend is like reaching out to us, but not our old best friend. I'm just going to say... Oh, it's okay. Thank you so much for the invite. And I don't know, would it be awkward to get cool with her, even though her, her girlfriend was our like old best friend? Lizbeth feels a little bit embarrassed, but she's gonna say, "Look, like I don't have a table set just yet, but you can eat on the couch. <laughs> like, it wasn't that expensive or anything." He's like, "All right, cool. This is all he does. He just plays with her, like, and just has fun. He's like the cool parent." She's like, "Go ahead and have yourself something to eat. Go ahead and let her eat because it's getting late. It's like seven o'clock now." So I'm going to exit this out and go ahead. <laughs> you can have some tuna if it's more than enough. He's like, all right. I don't think Alden wants Naval around Madison anyway. So having Abigail right now is a peace of mind for him because I think he knows that this has to be done and he wants no parts of this. Um, and he doesn't want his daughter around Naval either. So it's just complicated. Why are we in the bathroom? And right now, I'm going to actually have her discuss expanding the family just to see what he's saying um, about how he feels about having more kids. Maybe he started this conversation, though, not her, but I'm not controlling him, so I can't make him say this. But I feel like he'd be like, Sue, so do you plan on having any more kids in the future? Or could you see us? Maybe, you know. And, um, ooh, as wonderful as that sounds, I'm not in a position where I feel comfortable doing that at the moment. Okay, so we both are agree that, you know. <laughs> I just wanted to know that for my own personal. What? Ha he just kissed her autonomously. I'm freaking, I am freaking 
out did he just kiss her autonomously after asking that question okay i have no idea what that was but you can go ahead and put madison to bed now if you want because it's getting late so madison's asleep and lizbeth is like so i guess next time i'll see you next weekend possibly liz i, I this might be asking for too much but do you mind if i just stay the night here because that trip here was really bad and it's you know kind of drizzling right now and it's a pretty long ways away do you mind if i stay the night he's like i'm sorry i'm just so tired i just i don't want to fall asleep on the way back and so she's like sure i guess you could stay and he's literally gonna go in her bed and she is did you see that he literally had her bed in his thought bubble no sir you will not <laughs> she's gonna pull out the girl's like little cot and she's gonna put it right here yes she is yes she is pink um purple i mean little blankets and all he's like okay do you see him <laughs> did he really go oh my god i love the sims i love the sims yes so he really slept out here so he's sleeping here and i'm just so happy like thank goodness um because you're not sleeping with me <laughs> because liz is not trying to do that you know like come on you just kissed me and i have to put a pause on that no way we're not doing this right now i wish i was making this up but it seems like naval literally snuck into lisbeth's bed and i just cannot believe what is going on right now it was very it was a heat of a moment a passionate situation and she cannot oh my goodness <laughs> i cannot believe her please don't fall down this trap lisbeth please i cannot believe he i knew it was too good to be true he would not stay in his bed i knew i just knew it and she's just like oh my god i knew it i knew it why am i so stupid the chemistry he just randomly kissed her we saw it naval is just like i don't know if he's getting comfortable here but she's like all right like i have to go to the bathroom really quick and he's like all right we just need him to just like go madison was here she is totally feeling the walk of shame right now she's like oh my gosh i thought they were just gonna fall asleep and cuddle in each other's arms but it's like right after it was done she got up i feel like the disappointment and everything is settling in and she's just like why did i just do that like a quickie are you serious like that that wasn't even worth it no 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 guys oh my gosh a vampire just came in no oh my god you're useless uh i put disallow vampires way too late and this just sucks now we got bit by a vampire and no one will probably believe us <laughs> No one will believe us. Ew, she got bit by a vampire. That really ruined the LP. See, anyway, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. It's five in the morning and before Madison wakes up, we're literally just going to do something that should have been done a long time ago. And after just that little the incident last night, just him coming into the room and her not being able to just stand, like she's standing her ground right now because it's just not worth it. And we are going to ask if we can just be friends with him. And hopefully he takes this okay. But it's like, I want to co-parent with you. I want everything, everything I'm doing moving forward is for Madison. And he's sad. He's like, you really want to do this? It's like, we have a kid together. She's like, that doesn't mean anything. Do you see? Like, I'm not even with my husband right now. We have a kid together too. I need to figure myself out. There are plenty of people out here that you can have, not just me. We both need something more than whatever this is, whatever, whatever this is. And he's like, but I, I love you, Liz. And she's just like, oh my God. <laughs> He does not want to hear it. He's a little bit upset. How did we get back pink again? Did you see that? It went down and then now it's... Okay, just good friends. Okay, so maybe she's like, we we can be friends in the fall. He's just like, I just can't really believe this, you know? I just... I thought we were getting somewhere. It's like, we are, but... He definitely needs to go home and this is just how it has to be i need to call the therapist but obviously it's just a little too early but i will definitely be letting her know because lisbeth wants to cry right now she just she just wants to cry like she not because she's sad of like i mean obviously she cares for naval but it's just this whole thing she can't believe she really just told him like i want to be friends like after just giving it up one more time she just it's just a lot of emotions for her. It is Sunday and Abigail is back <laughs> with uh, Lizbeth, but she decided to leave the girls with, uh, what's her name? Jez Mender. Yes, Jez. Just, um, you know, her neighbors, just so she could go hit the gym for a little bit with Asher, who is looking mighty fine and totally not dressed for the gym, by the way. <laughs> 
he's like i'll go with you but i don't really feel like working out um but i think what i'm gonna have them do is actually maybe they could even just come out here and sit near the pool or something like they may be able to just like do that or just like sit together here she's had like a pretty decent workout and oh my goodness not our mom's husband boyfriend whatever this is right there Ooh, let's pretend that we do not see him because he just would not be here. Let's just ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> let's just ignore that. After yesterday, I think Lizbeth is just trying to kind of like, you know, get her mind off of this, live a healthy life, just try and like blow off some steam because that was just a lot. And of course, she has to tell Asher all about it. Asher's just like, how do you enjoy the city so far? It's so good to have you so close, Lizzie. Like, I miss you, girl. I, I cannot wait. What do you want to do tonight? <laughs> and she's just like, I don't even know. Like, I need to get my life together. I need a job and I need it now. And she's like, yes, I have nothing right now. Interior designing, just, it's a pain, you know? And so I think what we're also going to do is just tell some funny stories and everything. Asher's just like, look, Liz, you need to wake up. You're in the city now. There's so many different things that you can do here like this the city is just full of dreams and everything asher's gonna say you're good at writing why don't you just like pick up some clients you know be be a freelancer it's something you're good at and she's like literally the last time i wrote i basically destroyed my marriage which i'm trying to fix right now um and he's just gonna say look don't worry about though it's something you're really skilled at you could work from home and it would be ideal for you. There's tons of clients out here, tons of students that need papers looked at and, you know, columns, advice columns. Girl, you, the possibilities are endless for you. And she's like, are you serious? She's like, you really think I can do that, Asher? And he's like, yeah. And I think what I'm going to do is have them get in the pool and she's just thinking about it like i guess i could do that i would be able to be home with the kids make my own schedule i'd be able to you know pick up jobs as i go let's have her like splash him she's just gonna say you know what ash you're freaking smart you know that and that's why i love you <laughs> now what do you do for a living he's like don't ask all of that girl just know i'm taken care of who knows Asher's like, I'll talk to some friends and, and I'll see if they know anyone, you know, looking for certain lines of works. And I'll, yeah, I'll just make something happen for you. Just let me know. Like, put your resume out there and all of that stuff. <laughs> I can't believe Asher hates children, but he loves ours. I love that. But I think he's also going to say, seriously, Liz, you could even pick up some part time classes on the side and just really try to make even more money when you can. Like, go back and finish out your degree, even if you just stay a freelancer. Like, you'll at least have that degree under your belt. You know, just finish what you started, girl. It doesn't end here. And I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, they are way too adventurous for me. <laughs> he was like, You want to do something stupid? She's like, What? He's like, Let's skinny dip on the top of this thing. Let's cause a scene because uh, your, your mom's husband's watching. Oh my gosh, you're going to get us kicked out. They are so. <laughs> Asher is bold. Yay. So Jez just said, you know, the girls were great today. So we're going to come in here and just give them lots of love, hugs and kisses. We definitely miss them so much after being gone today and just having that little bit of like mommy me time. Liz definitely is going to take Asher's advice. And I think she's going to come in here, sit on this computer and honestly, oh, don't be mad at mommy because I was gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's going to go ahead and hold on, Madison. I'll be right back. If I don't do this right now, girl, I might not do this at all. She's going to put her resume up and officially become a freelance writer and hope and pray that some gigs are out there for her to do. Because, you know, this gives her that freedom and it's perfect. She has the skill. So we're going to have her go with Fighting Words, a freelance writer and... Yay, she's entered the world of freelancing. It's so exciting. And before she even picks up a gig, I think she's actually going to see about any scholarships that are, you know, out right now. Maybe possibly she can, you know, actually before she does this, because it's been so long, she's going to go to scholarships and email the, her former guidance counselor for advice. Like, hey, it's been a long time. Oh, no, she's sick. She needs some medicine. I have to get her some medicine. Oh, no, she's still feeling not good because the vampire. <laughs> so she's emailing the professor or old guidance counselor before she applies for these scholarships and the guidance counselor's like yeah there's plenty of options for you all of this that and the third and let's see so she has the best chance of earning these scholarships food and drink 
uh, education for all Ooh, in athletics. I'm definitely going to go for education for all because that's going to give us the most. So we're going to apply for the scholarship. And honestly, her anxiety right now is just off the chart. She's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this right now. I cannot believe this. So she's going to go ahead and apply and wish for the best, you know, and she'll apply for university. She has the simoleons right now. She may as well. And this is the start of Lizbeth just trying her best. Achieve what Alden has achieved, you know, the, the, the career, the education and all of that she deserves that just as much and she feels you know like bad that she's even doubted herself for so long and just let go of things that she used to like when things got hard she ran away you know and just she's ready to just face things head on and I'm just truthfully so proud of her I wish we could continue playing after this and play a day at university and all of that stuff but I feel like it's nice to just kind of have them to myself for a little while and bring them back so the university application is on its way. It took some time, but Lizbeth has been to college before. So maybe it'll, it'll, you know, go by a little bit easier. Now she just needs to go and make some food for her girls, something easy, maybe some fish tacos. That's pretty easy to whip up. That kind of sums it up for our lovesick finale. I know that, oh wow, love will eat cooking. She's going to be a chef by the time we see her again. I'm just saying. Aw, so we're speaking to our therapist and we're just saying, yes, like I'm so, just thank you for everything. I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous to start college again but you know maybe I could do one or two classes you know my best friend Asher you know told me like that'd be a good idea and she's sick not pregnant this time guys sick what does it say it says Lizbeth is fighting a battle of the belly and losing epically oh my gosh I love it imagine how Lizbeth probably feels she's like I need to take a pregnancy test ASAP I think she totally would too like hold on I cannot and I better not be that wouldn't make any sense right so I'm gonna have her just purchase some medicine right now and get that started because oh man we can't have her feeling like this but I'm going to have her do that right now I just want to express my gratitude for the series and how well we've progressed I actually even need Lizbeth to just send a little tiny text to Alden just to say hey you know um, when you get a chance I just want to update you on some things you know that I think I might be doing that I kind of need your support on you know because I don't know how I'm gonna do it with the girls but I just want to let you know maybe he'll be proud of her you know just her telling him certain things that she's accomplishing does does he need to know about the incident with Naval I don't know no, Lisbeth doesn't see it as cheating right now. They're of heart, and honestly, she didn't even want to do that. It just it wasn't her heart. It just was out of habit. Um, but it's done. It's over with. And she did officially call it off, so she doesn't have to tell him that it happened one more time, right? Thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play. Seriously, 15 parts of just sincere, genuine, passionate comments that really fueled my creativity. Really, really had me just going you know just really had me going and i thank you so much this helped me in so many ways as a creator i look forward to seeing lovesick again and these characters at a different stage of their life and if you want to just let me know how you feel or any future ideas what you want to happen whatever the case may be you can feel free you know to let let me know in the comments down below i'm just so thankful for you all i truly am and this character that we built that we hated and loved and wanted to pull her hair fight her but also hug her at the same time i hope i was able to provide a little bit of closure with this part and move on to some other things i put my heart and soul in the storytelling this time and you all really helped out with that and i just truly appreciate any subscribers or the new supporters that I gained from this series, thank you. Wavy fam, wavy babies, you guys are just, you all are so awesome. So if you enjoyed this series, I just want, y'all know the signature pink heart. There's a certain heart that Lovesick has, okay? It's not just any pink heart. It's the one that looks like there's several pink hearts inside of it. I want you to fill the comments with that heart. I just want tons of them because if anyone comes in this video, they're gonna look at the comments and be like, wow, I don't know what's going on. It's a heart, heart fest, okay? We're gonna do that. Drop the Lovesick hearts down below. And yeah, if you like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep swimming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out. Cause you thought he needed them 
but he's not coming back again. So he's gone, leaving then. You won't see him again. It was convenient, but you won't be staying friends. And you know that, sweetie, you know that. Think you knew it before, but you just ignored that. So now you won't take back, but there's no refunds here. So you sort of hurt, it makes you see clear. But you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost. But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all like what you created in your mind. It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time. You didn't even like him in real life. He said he thought it would be nice if we Stairs jack you up Swept off in a moment Sitting in his car But you know He won't take you far And you know that Sweetie you know that Think you knew it before But you just ignored that So now you won't take back But there's no refunds here So you sort of hurt It makes you see clear you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all like what you created in your mind It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time You didn't even like him in real life Real life Talking about that It just feels nice But let's get back to real life Real life Talking about that real life Holding on cause it just feels nice But let's get back to real life